talking about RV parks is what I am going to do. It's one of the greatest projects I've worked on in a long time, building an RV park. I'm helping a client buy some land that is already zoned and allowed for campgrounds or RV parks. And there are none in the town I'm living in where it's the greatest football team ever known as the Georgia Bulldogs. There is RV parking available in some places. There are RV condo spaces you can buy. I'm working on a guy to build the first true RV park campground where people who just want to come for a few nights to visit Athens, check out all the amazing stuff going on. You can do that. Well, today we met with Clark County Planning and Zoning, and that included the public works and transportation and uh, the fire department and uh, missing out was one of the number one important things was the septic people. So that could happen to you. So if you are trying to buy a property that's big, make sure you have a long due diligence, which in commercial uh, properties, that's a normal thing to have uh, 60 to 90 days due diligence because the government doesn't just do whatever you want and let you come and talk to them and ask them lots of questions. If you want to get the real answers, you got to schedule a meeting. You got to have a whole site plan created, which might cost in this situation $7,000 was the cheapest true site plan from an engineer with a stamp on it. And then we go and talk to the government. Well, we didn't want to wait for that. They still let us come and talk and answer our questions. And guess what? In our government, things don't make sense all the time. And you're going to find that out. Wherever you're building, things might not make sense. But they're in the rule book. They're in the code book. Hey, you have to do X, Y, Z. Even though you're building uh, an RV park, you got to build sidewalks to nowhere. Even though we're way out in the country. Yeah, that's true. Because that's in the plans. Now, we can get a variance. Uh, because actually, on the major road that's coming next to our uh, RV park, there's a big steep hill. They want us to put a sidewalk in the steep hill. Or we got to get a variance. The variance process is almost the same as a rezoning process. And that could take two to four months just to get that done. Because you got to go to a planning meeting. You got to go to commissioner's meeting. And then you got to hear the neighbors talk about whether or not they want to not let you have a sidewalk to nowhere. Well, this is wild. But this is what happens in the real life when you're building stuff. Uh, but big steps are they're okay in this zoning. They're okay with us building like a general store, convenience kind of store, um, right? You know, on a separate parcel next to the RV park. That's a great idea. And they're okay with us uh, really doing simple roads. We still have to be asphalt, but there we don't have to have a sidewalk on the private roads, so that's great. And the funny thing is about all this: there is so much code and so many regulations. And it is very tough to even find them. So that's why you got to schedule these meetings and work with an engineer who already knows the area because that's really how you're going to get these questions truly answered. I'm always seeking out and searching for all kinds of different properties in the cash flow world. So whether it's self-storage, multifamily, RV park, mobile home park, or just regular house rentals, I'm doing that all the time. I just bought two houses last week. I'm flipping them. Uh, it doesn't make sense to keep them as a rental. So if you're looking to do a property like that, uh, I am looking for new partners. You can just be a funding partner. If you want to learn about the whole thing, I can help you do that. So let's work together. Reach out to me. Send me, send me a DM, as the kids would say. Boom. See you later.